Good morning, everybody. We have a um, couple of outdoor farm things to do this morning. Not much going on here today, but I didn't want to not put a video up. We're gonna fix and go feed pickles, and then we got a couple of things we're gonna plant today. So a little bit exciting. We're gonna plant our sweet potato starts that we've been working on for about six weeks. So let's go, I'm gonna bring you along with me and let's go give Pickle her, her treat so I can get her food bowl. It's a piece of watermelon. I try to not make you too, too dizzy. <laughs> it's overcast today and I don't know if you ever had one of those days where you just can't get it together. <laughs> That's my day today. <laughs> so we'll, I'm, this is me trying to get my life together this morning. <laughs> It's Memorial Day weekend this weekend. I hope you have, some, if you are in the States or you have a holiday weekend, I hope you have something fun planned. She's not happy with me. I'm gonna point you right there while I go get, oops, while I go get her bowl. Anyway, we're not doing anything super fun. Kids are out of town. And, um, uh, I think Jenny's gonna fry some fish for my mom. Here, let's see if I can get her to come over here where you can see something. Hey, pickles. Oh, you want the watermelon? I know you'd like that. Also, see this plant right here? It's a volunteer cherry, uh, no, not cherry. It's either black cream or Cherokee purple tomato from last year. And besides what fell over and she stepped on, I haven't touched it it's doing fine. It's got a few tomatoes on it. So we'll see how it does. I'm not gonna take it away from you. Come on. Just a note about pickles while we're standing out here. We've had other hogs in this pen before, just mixed breed and they wallered it out and just made the biggest mess. And so far with her, we are so happy. She is not, uh, she's, she is a pasture pig, mostly pasture raised. And even though I don't have a pasture area for her here, she's doing fine in this pen. We're hopeful to maybe be getting one of her brothers to uh, grow out with her, but this weekend we're I don't know if it's gonna get done this weekend uh, I'll, I'll say it and it may not but we're gonna be able to go back about another 16 feet or 8 feet back before it gets too too much so they can be underneath this tree right here some more and um, they'll have a little bit bigger space and then where I'm standing now in front of it we're gonna be going out another twice as big as this so that they'll we'll have a place to separate when we finally do uh, get a male that we're gonna be keeping to have piglets with her. So that's kind of exciting. She's she's a hoot and a half. She, <laughs> she uh, we love her. She's a mess. But let me quit my waffling and let's go over in the garden. I got you on the long tripod today. I have a couple of little seeds I'm gonna plant and I try to come out here every morning that I'm home and uh, I gotta get a sip of water. I try to come out here every morning that I'm home and check and see if there's something I can hand pollinate, I will do it. I know I baby this garden. Some people are like, I don't have time for that, but I put a lot, a lot of effort into this. So I forgot to bring a stick with me. Let me see if I can, oh, I have a hoe right here. That'll work. Sorry, gosh. Again, this is what I'm talking about, getting my, my act together today. I cut grass yesterday and I meant to do this then and well, it just didn't happen. <laughs> But next week, we're gonna do a full garden tour. 
next week will be a full garden tour of what how it's changed what it's looking like at the end of may and um the corn is almost ready i want to go over there today and pick one just to check it but i'm not going to do it uh june the first is 80 days on that corn so we may when we do the garden tour next week we'll check out an ear and see what it looks like and also um I'll have a crafty, at least one crafty video up next week for those of y'all that aren't here for the gardening. I'm sorry, I haven't had much of that. Um, it's just the time of year that it is. I don't have that much time to do it. I would love to, I just don't have as much time. But I have some, I guess I could have showed this before. I have some pepper seeds here and a couple of spots at the end of my pepper row that I never did plant out. These are those lunchbox peppers, uh, the little small bell peppers that you get at the store. I'm gonna try to plant them. I've heard people that have some success with them and we love to stuff those peppers and grill them. So uh, we had some the other night, well, last weekend and I saved the seeds and I'm gonna just literally go poke them in the ground and give them a little water and see what happens. But on the way, we'll take a look at what's happening, I guess, in the garden. I'm gonna turn you around so you can see, and we'll walk down to the end of this row. So there's my kakutsa vine. It's really getting big. And my cucumbers. They're trying. But like I said, we're not gonna do, I'm not gonna do a garden tour today. I'm just coming out here to plant these seeds and check and make sure I don't see any anything wrong, any bugs. I'm literally just gonna dig a hole, a little small hole. We're gonna put these in and see what happens. This is, this will be an experiment. <laughs> I'm just gonna put a few in each hole. Gonna lightly cover them. The ground is still pretty wet from all the rain we had. We'll see what happens with that. Sorry you're so crooked, goodness gracious. Get it together, Christy. Okay. That's better. So, I forgot to get my, um, I forgot to get my sweet potato starts out of the house. So, let me go get those and we'll go over and plant those real quick. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. I just talked away for five minutes and nobody heard me except pickles. <laughs> okay. I'm, we're going to plant these sweet potato slips today. I have five grow bags. Yes, ma'am, but these are not for you. I have five 10 gallon grow bags right here that I had red potatoes in and Yukon gold. And um, I'm just ready to get this done. Next week we have. Uh, or this weekend and into next week, I'm gonna be making my last big planting of the year, which will be okra and all my winter squash, pumpkins and stuff like that. So this is that, I'm just gonna plant this in one of these by itself, and I'm just gonna leave it sticking out a little bit and we're gonna see what happens. This is that one that we, it just started growing on its own. It was never in water. Um, so this will be an experiment. Uh, this is my first time ever growing sweet potatoes. So we're just gonna, Plant this and actually we'll just put it in this one right here. I'm gonna just plant it in there by itself. I'm gonna bury it about halfway. And we'll see what happens. I've already put some amendments in this soil. Uh, bone meal, blood meal, and some worm castings. And 
we'll just see what this one does. And for the other ones, I'm just gonna split up the amount of sweet potato slips I have. I, I really don't know how big these vines get. Um, and she, if they start growing up, if they start being viney and they grow up this, this, she will eat the leaves, which is fine. I know the leaves um, are edible, but I may leave one of one or two of these open and grow out some more, but you can see they all have pretty good looking roots on them. So I'm just gonna, I think I'll divide this between these two beds right here and this one behind me. And um, we'll come back and plant the other two later when I get some more slips. So let's see what we have here. These two I just broke off the other day and they are barely getting roots on them. I don't know if you can see, but I'll put those right here behind me. We'll see if they do anything. Here's another one that's just got a few roots on it. I think I'm only gonna put three in each of these containers. I think that's probably about all they'll handle. If you have grown sweet potatoes and I'm making huge mistakes, let me know. <laughs> Cause I don't know. So there's one, two, three for that one. And one, two, these are three little tiny ones. We're just gonna put them all in there. So I'm just poking a hole with my finger pretty deep and just putting it all, all the way in there, all the way up to, I'm actually gonna pull some of these leaves off because if you can see, it's making roots up there. So I'm gonna plant it all the way to right here. Same thing with this one. This one's got a lot of roots on it. Pickle says no to sweet potato leaves. She also does not like celery. <laughs> but she thinks she wants it. <laughs> Maybe? No. Okay. Why are you crooked? Let's try this. All right, I'm gonna get these watered in and I'll turn you around and show you what they look like when I'm done. Okay, this one has, you can see right here, the three small pieces that um, hadn't really rooted. I mean, they're just barely trying to make roots, so we'll see what happens with those. This one has the rest of that whole potato that has some sprouts growing out the top of it. And then here are all the ones that were rooted really well. And like I said, this is just an experiment mainly just to see if I can do it. I have the pots sitting here. They're not doing me any good. I think I'll probably be planting carrots or something in these pots in the fall. Whenever it's, uh, for our, for zone 9A where I live, I, I have to go back and look, but I think you plant carrots in the winter or the fall, I'm not sure. And I have not been able to do a fall garden yet. So that, that'll be something else to be excited about. And then, Pickles, you want to say goodbye? 
tell everybody bye. Say, please subscribe and like this video. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching, and I hope you have a blessed day and a blessed weekend, and I will see you back here um, for a full video on Tuesday. Bye.